Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublicon here, and welcome to just uh, announcement time. Yeah, I uh, I want to take a, a moment out of you know the busy days, and we just had Thanksgiving yesterday. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and it was superb. But I wanted to bring up that basically at the time of this filming, um, we are at 205 subscribers, and I gotta say, give yourselves a hand and thank you so much, you amazing people. I'm ecstatic and overjoyed, and just ah, it's so cool. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's a super fun. I had a goal to hit 200 January 1st, 2016, and here we are uh, at the filming of this November 25th, 2015. We're at 205, and, you know, at the growth rate that we're going, we potentially could be at 250 January 1st, and it's just so cool. And I gotta say thank you for your shares, your views, your watch time, your comments, your kindness, your, just your thoughts, everything. Just, you guys are fantastic. I really appreciate it bring a lot of joy to this crazy Kublai, and so thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, so also a little, some discussion, a little bit more of the meta of that is this channel. Uh, I wanted to talk a bit about the permadeath roleplay philosophy. So we just had a recent passing of a character. Just in case you happen to not see that, um, thumbnails change depending on if somebody passes, so it's not that hidden, but I still want to avoid that spoiler if I can. Um, we had a passing of a character, and there were some comments about kind of the the sadness about losing that person and the thing is is that is exactly what i'm trying to do with the permadeath roleplay not make you feel sad necessarily but make you feel attached make you connected to a character so that when we go into some challenges together there is real stress and fear for the person that we are playing that person that character is the kind of the goal of the kublai khan channel to generate our characters and our stories and adding this Roleplay with a permadeath aspect allows our characters to become alive, different, uh, and thus we watch them succeed and it's or fail, as, we've, as uh, this last character I'm mentioning. And that joy and that experience is what makes, you know, this that's kind of my motif, I guess, for this channel. And the final goal is like maybe eventually we even learn things about ourselves by watching these characters, about seeing them fail, succeed, about their choices in lives. And, you know, it could be very, it's, it's something that I find kind of profound. Um, yeah, I'm one of those artsy guys who are just like, yes, yes, yes. As you can see, the, the death of character A highly represents the Industrial Revolution and how it completely upturned the textile industry when it was done by hands and serves. I don't know, this was a, a, a pipe and then it was a cigarette and then it was a pretzel. I, anyway, um, yeah, I really like that. And so I'm really happy that you guys are kind of creating that connection as well. Speaking of which, builds, 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 builds. Please continue to give me builds. I really enjoy it. Skyrim's still going on too, so if you got a fantasy idea, go ahead, throw one of those down here too. Fallout 4 is still the main thing I'm focusing on because, uh, man, that sweet, sweet search results and getting them sweet, sweet keywords. Still, I also love it, and there's some pretty, pretty cool stuff too. Um, anyway, that's that's another bit. Uh, but it's just. Thank you guys, it's been a total joy to have this, and have this kind of experience with y'all, and the builds, and the give and take, it's been awesome. Um, I'm thinking also, eventually, because some of the ways we can become connected to some of these builds, I want to have a vote about certain builds coming back. Uh, they'll always have a little bit of a twist, because sometimes when you bring back the exact same build, they die in the exact same way. And it's funny that actually that happens that way, totally telling of me as a player. Um, however, it's something that... What was up to us? But point is, is that that's something I want you to think about. What ones did you really like? Um, especially, and, but still, continue to give build ideas because the characters that we have, like the coolest ones that show up, show up tend af, tend to be later, tend to be after we've done these a couple times. Then the really cool characters start showing up because they we started get you know I kind of have a skill set that I started to get and the characters come a little bit more alive, so it's super fun. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that's sort of the, the coverings of where I'm trying to go with this. There is a You So Fly Day video that comes after this. It's it's an older one. Um, the con So the quality is a little bit lower, but it's kind of like watching an old baby movie of yourself kind of thing. And I thought it was, and I really like the content. It made me laugh. It's with Gus McQueen. Highly recommend you watch this guy. He's pretty damn cool. So anyway, uh, it's, a, it's a video we did together a couple, a couple bits back. And I kind of want to do more videos with that guy. He's cool. And so anyway, whew. Dudes, thank you so much for watching. It's a total joy to have you here. I absolutely appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are fantastic. So, may the ground rise to meet your feet. May the wind always be at your back. And may the sunshine warmly on your sexy, sexy, 
and looking particularly beautiful today. Faces. All right, see you later. Bye.